So there have been an extraordinarily high number of Russian generals killed. That suggests several things. One, it suggests that the generals need to be at the front lines to ensure that their troops are conducting the battle plan in the way that they want. But that also suggests a lack of confidence in their troops if they need to be that far forward with that many senior folks. The young folks in the Russian military don't know what to do and they know that they're just being told to do something, particularly when it's a fight where their heart isn't in it. The Ukrainians have this moral uh, high ground, at least in their mind. They're defending their country. The Russians know that they are invading and they are invading brothers, Russian speaking brothers. And so that ability for the Ukrainians to be able to persevere, even when they're outnumbered, even when the Russians have better kit, have more ammunition, have better weapons, that is an advantage that Ukraine has uh, proven to be decisive on the battlefield thus far. Russians aren't even using encryption, so it means that anybody, if they find the frequencies, are able to listen in. So this is a bonanza for not only U.S. and NATO, but uh, Ukrainian intelligence. The modern age has introduced lots of benefits, but in the case of the military, it actually becomes dangerous because most of the apps that people are running are not encrypted and they're passing real-time data of where people are. So if you're a corporal or a sergeant sitting in a tank somewhere in a, in a large Russian formation and you're driving somewhere, you take all those pieces of information and you can see where they're moving when in real time. You don't need intelligence, you just need the ability to access the data that that app is providing. getting anecdotal reporting back channel that the Ukrainians are paying a price too. This is not a one-sided war. Yes, the US and NATO are propping them up and sending as much as they can, but again, they didn't have that big a standing army. They can just throw new troops who have been trained into, the, uh, into battle. So the Ukrainians are hurting. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.